the government recently updated the anti-crime law. We are now there with lock up everybody who is involved in the crime, no matter what part they take. Jamaica, they used to just catch one person and forget about the other people there. Hi guys, welcome to What's What Jamaica News TV. If this is your first time here, please make sure that you subscribe. If it's not your first time here and you have not yet subscribed, please do so right now. And now for the news. Outside of Jamaica, this thing has been happening for a long time. From ever since I can remember, I'm speaking about in the US. If you're involved in a crime, even if you play a small role in there, them will lock you up. A Jamaica, them just used to lock up just the major person and forget about everybody else. But now they have updated the criminal justice law. Provision under Jamaica's updated criminal justice now allows for the prosecution of criminal groups. So if you're part of it, them will lock you up. This was disclosed by, disclosed by Jeremy Taylor, Senior Deputy Director of Public Prosecution at the Office of the Director of Public Prosec Prosecution during the Ministry of Education and Youth Anti-Gang Week Town Hall on November 17. Taylor said the act initially prosecuted an individual despite other members engaged in criminal activity. It only used to go after one person. What has changed with the new legislation is that we no longer have to look at individuals because up to 2014, we were, we really could only prosecute the individual. And I used to wonder why they only take one person and leave everybody else. But the law was not set up to do so until now. Irrespective of what other persons may have done, either in the background or foreground. So this is a law. This is really, really good for Jamaica. This might help the cut down on the crimes, but are they going to really implement it in the justice system? You could only move against the individual in that respect. Now this new act allows us to move against groups and you have seen that we have brought certain groups to trial he said so this is something that they have started he said the law which was passed in 2014 and amended in 2021 now allows all those involved in criminal activity to be prosecuted regardless of their role and i only hope they keep it up because this law is a good one even if you are not the trigger person, you are the person who drives them to do the crime. You are charged as a facilitator of the criminal offense, just as how if you are the person who shoots the person, you are also charged as the facilitator of the criminal offense, he says. He added that this law also states that individuals who engage in actions that help a gang are also breaking the law. Like when you hide them, when you keep them in your yard, when them go, go do something bad and they're coming back. Like all some of these mothers who are shield them, these parents who are shield them, they are also breaking the laws and they should also be locked up. From people realize that they are going to lock them up, you know. They are not going to encourage those things. A lot of people don't go and encourage those things because they're not going to go to jail. He says it speaks about providing a benefit to a criminal organization. These are the gun bags. If you carry the guns for the criminal organization to hide or to lock, you have provided a benefit. If you carry the stolen goods, you carry them to pawn shop and you will sell them you have provided a benefit. If you get a doctor for a person knowing he is a member of a gang and has committed a gang related activity, you have provided a benefit. The law has tried to cover all the major areas, Taylor said. The activities slated that under the anti-gang week are being hosted by the Ministry of Education and Youth in collaboration with the JCF. So, this is one of the best laws so far that I see that can help to curb crime. 
because people hide it out people them are them are facilitate them in many many different ways you know like i just did a report where they say mothers are encouraging this because them taking the money them taking the goods because of greed now they're going to have to think twice some of them have a whole house of children they have to think twice do i want to go to jail and leave my kids out there to suffer so this might be a start i head in the right direction to try to curve some of the crimes then that are going on in Jamaica right now. Guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please make sure you subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell so you will be notified of all new videos. Now.